An employee who works at financial services company Barclays is raising concerns tonight. She says that she feels unsafe working in the office. Well, two of her coworkers tested positive for coronavirus. And 13 Action News reporter Jeremy Chen right now is live in Henderson after speaking with that employee. Jeremy. Well, Todd, that particular employee works at this office right behind me at the Barclays in Henderson, and she says she feels unsafe due to the coronavirus. Employees remain working at Barclays in Henderson after two coronavirus cases were confirmed among them. At least one worker says she's fearful of being infected. She didn't want to talk on camera for fear of losing her job, so her partner spoke for her. I'm not okay with it, and I'm not okay with my partner maybe being sick. They didn't care. They didn't care. They come home and they brought that home. Man, give people have children. You don't do that kind of stuff. You just don't. This is not a time for that. She says her partner is scared of being a carrier or getting sick herself. A Barclays spokesperson says the two employees who've tested positive are self-quarantined at home. Any employee who may have had close contact is being asked to self-quarantine. They also say the second floor was deep clean on April 1st, as well as high traffic common areas of the buildings. No one from the public is allowed inside at this time. In a statement, Barclays says in part the health and safety of our colleagues, customers, and clients is our top priority and we are providing support to our colleagues and their families. The employee's partner says that's not enough. They need to close their doors. They need to make sure that the, the employees are okay. They need to at least give them two weeks to make sure they're okay. I mean, that's all they need. Now, as far as the cases of coronavirus here at the Barclays office, the first one, according to the company, they say that person has not been at work for the past two and a half weeks. The other one they found out last week. Jeremy Chen, 13 Action News.